All right, got to go fast. Uh, Venator Materials. Had a pretty good Friday, 28 cents. What did they do? I mean, they obviously make materials. What kind of materials, though? That's what I want to know. Together with subsidiaries, manufacturers, and markets chemical products worldwide. So they make chemical materials, operate through two segments, titanium dioxide performance additives. Okay, so they make a lot of interesting chemicals. Um... Declining revenues and consistent earnings losses. That's not terribly promising. I wonder if the stock price reflects this. That, wow, this is the most annoying ad I have ever seen. It's hideous. It's ugly. I hate it. Again, another one. Another, you know, this is kind of what I was talking about, talking about before with bullishness or bearishness someday, depending on just a roll of the dice. I'm going to have a lot of sells and holds today because the random picker is giving me complete, complete, complete trash. Look at this. IPO'd, immediately dropped and has, and has been trading inside the range of $6. And I'm not, you know what? I'm not even going to count last year uh, as part of the range because it's covid um everyone everyone dropped during covid i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to count the range as about $3 between 6 and $3 for the last 3 years literally going nowhere yeah yeah tell me how many shares institutions owned let me let, let me guess zero Not a large company about global standards that market capitalization of four hundred and sixty million. Um at our data on the ownership. Why do you keep reloading the page like this? You're killing me. On ownership seem that institutes are noticeably on the share registry. Let's take a closer look. Yes, let's do. Uh, as you can see, institutions have a fair amount of stake in Ven Venator. Why, though? This implies the analyst working on... Okay, you know, I don't need to read this to, to, to know that. What I need to do is I need to go look at holders. Um, to look at holders. This is actually... Uh, Of oh okay sorry I got I got conf I got confused there for a second because I'm like 49 percent and 63 percent how is that possible but no this is outstanding and this is um this is this is percentage of float so that makes sense this is actually a lot insiders are holding are holding nearly half so apparently they have a belief in the company and institutions have 32 percent that leaves. About 18, 19, 20 percent for uh, you know us, us, us little retail folks to play with. These are surprising percentages, actually, for a company that I initially wrote off based on what I saw. What about transactions? Show me that. So people getting stock awards. This guy sold Huntsman Corporation, sold 126 million shares at 298 on December 23rd, 2020. So apparently they had they had no faith. So I see one, one massive sell, and I see a bunch of stock awards and gifts. And then way down at the bottom here, way back in 2018, I'm also seeing just a bunch of sells. Now, if people were buying, well, they're not, um, hmm. Well, 
no one's buying, but they're giving around they're giving out stock awards like candy apparently. And I guess you can make the argument that if they thought that the company stock price was going to continue to go down, they would have sold those stock awards immediately, but that probably would have also meant specifically tanking the stock price on purpose, and that's definitely grounds for litigation. So I can see why they wouldn't do that. Uh, This is a complex situation. And I'm not too sure how to interpret the stuff that I'm seeing, because really it 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 can go either way. They can take these stock awards... And they can so they can sell them or they can sell them or not sell them. They can sell them because they think the stock price is going to go down, or, or or not go up at least. They can hold on to them for several reasons, some of which are both bullish and bearish. They can hold on to them because they think the price is going to go higher, and so that's a bullish case. And they can hold on to them because they don't want the indication of them selling to hurt the price even more, which would be a bear case. This is a, this is a tough call, but I'm going to have to go with, with, with hold. Without, without those institutions holding and those insiders holding, I would have said straight up sell. But... That kind of makes me think a hold again. It could mean either way. I honestly don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm kind of kind of using hold as a as a middle of the road option here. Could it go higher? Yeah, sure. I honestly don't think it would be justified based on what I'm seeing of the company. So 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 hold. <laughs>